So as you can see, we've been living like slops for the last two weeks and I can't take it anymore. So I bought this desk off Facebook Marketplace for 40 bucks. I think it's gonna be perfect and I'm finally gonna have an office. So let's put it together. I gotta be careful though because I have a back injury. Apparently I, I got an MRI and apparently I have a herniated disc tearing some membrane, pushing on my spinal cord or whatever. I've been in a lot of pain for about a week and a half. Part of the reason why this is taking so long, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. truth to see if I even uh, like this. I was looking at like tons of different desks online. I really like the combination of like wood and metal. I prefer like a thinner metal leg, but everything I liked was like $2,000 from Herman Miller and everything that was like affordable was just like an old antique and kind of clunky. Uh, lucky enough, this came up for 40 bucks and I was like, all right, it's a nice piece of wood and if I ever want to change out the legs, I can, but I kind of like them as they are and this will be more than sufficient for now. Also behind me, I got these new shelves. These are vintage Ikea. They're so cool. I haven't talked about them yet, but maybe I'll go over them a bit in this video. It is obviously a disaster back here, but at least we have space to put stuff. I'll make sure this is all organized and we'll get some lamps. I have to wipe them down still, but my main priority is just having a desk to work at. I don't even have an office chair yet, so that's interesting, but at least we have this. So let's flip it over and see what it looks like. Oh, it's heavy. There we go. Perfect. I kind of wanted the desk to face out anyway, so I could just work here. Uh, and this is definitely gonna do the trick. I really like this. I'm gonna play around with the orientation and uh, all kinds of stuff, I imagine. Whew, I'm dizzy. But for now, I, I like it. I like that I can like walk around it. I'll have to redecorate that back wall, but for, yeah, for right now, for today, bueno. All right, so I've got all this empty wall space and this hook is already here from like our previous landlord, although it doesn't seem very sturdy. I'm gonna try and hang our clock from it. That did the trick. All right, so I have this really fun clock from Ikea. This is just like a very modern looking clock, but it's part of the, uh, Ikea Swedish House Mafia collab. We also have like the standing lamp down in our living room. Yes, I said Ikea Swedish House Mafia. This is probably from two years ago. It was in our old office. It never really like worked in there, but I feel like it might look good here. So we're just gonna go ahead and see if this even attaches properly. And would you look at that? This actually fits perfect and I'm excited. There's a plug right down here, so should be good. All right, so I haven't cleaned the shelves yet since I purchased them and they are quite dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and tidy them up. 
because it would bug me forever knowing that there was dust all over these things. Now I know you see natural cleaning products all over the internet and everybody's like, you know, environmentally friendly and conscious and stuff. I'm gonna be honest, when I clean, I want that shit sterile. I want it to smell like bleach and I want you to be able to perform surgery on any surface that you've just cleaned. This to me smells amazing. I know it's really bad for you probably, but when I clean with this, I feel like it's actually cleaning. I do have a lot of natural cleaning products that we use more regularly, but this here, anytime I clean a bathroom, I use this. And anytime I clean something for the first time, I use this. Obviously I don't use it on like wood or anything like fabric or leather, but I will use it on these because I think it will just kill all the germs and that's all I want. So yeah, I'm just gonna wet my paper towel and get started. Don't get this on your clothes though. That's after like two seconds of wiping. See what I mean? So the shelves actually came with this like additional piece that you can use um, as the rollers for one of them, which I think is so much nicer than the black one. So I'm gonna switch it out probably for the, ball, the big one here. I love that these are modular and we can change the height and sizes. I bought three, but they actually have one more that somebody backed out of. I might get the fourth one. I just don't know if we need all four. So I'll set the office up and make a decision. But for now, let's put these wheels on. So I think now it's actually gonna be taller. I didn't realize there was like this extension here. I think that looks way cooler. I don't think it's on straight though. All right, so the office is set up. Obviously it's still a bit of a mess and there's a lot to do, but I like to sort of give things time and see what I need out of the space before I just start committing to putting things in places. So I'll set up the shelves with like everything plugged in to charge. And as I grow into the space, I think, it, I think it'll just become clear what belongs where. Um, but for now, I'm pretty happy with it. I might actually buy the additional shelf for this wall. It's looking a little just unfinished or something. And I obviously got to find a place for these boxes. I don't mind having like one of them down here, but uh, it is pretty messy. So in the coming days, I'll organize everything and get it nice and clean. But yeah, that's it for now. Um, if you guys have any questions down below or any recommendations of how I could set this up differently, and what you think might look good or better than what I have currently. Obviously, we're at the very early stage, but uh, any sort of critique or ideas are welcome. I would love to get a nice rug in here, maybe like a shag rug to make it comfy. We'll get a floor lamp for sure, because there is no ceiling lamps. I'll do some desk lamps and things like that. And please comment below your favorite cable management. I found this thing on somebody's Instagram that like makes your extension cords look like aesthetic and beautiful. I don't know if this is actually the extension cord itself or just a cover for any cord. Here's a photo of it. I don't know where to buy this. So if you know where to buy it, let me know down below. Uh, otherwise, have a fantastic day. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, 90% of my viewers are not subscribed and it would just mean the world to me if you could click that button. I know maybe this is your first time seeing me and I kind of have to prove myself over time but I promise I will. If you click that button, I will keep posting. I will continue to show up for you. Just consider it. Otherwise, have a fantastic day. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.